this group and this magazine Jama'iyah who? Ihya Turath who are based in the country of our Sheikh he knows them better than we do Sheikh Falah in Kuwait who is the leader? Abdul Rahman Abdul Khaliq the same Sheikh between quotes because the recording can't get me making the quotation signs as I say Sheikh so because when they take this now this recording and take it to ahya.org of whom we call amwat.org ahya means living we say they're dead you look at them like Sheikh Albani when they asked him one time about someone he said what do you say about them he recited the verse from Surah to Kaf you look at them and you think they're awake but they're sleeping they're sleeping we find that this magazine called themselves these people Salafis and they claim to ascribe to Salafiyya just like this magazine that eventually became this magazine Friday Report Juma Magazine they used to be with us upon Salafiyya and then they split and they developed and founded another organization Ayana and they went to the path of the Sururis the Jihadis the Takfiris Ya Muqallib al Qulub Brothers Thabbit Qalbi ala Deenik So we say that Salafiyya has a longer history a longer history than the 90s an earlier history because we used to study with some Nigerian brothers from this book called al aqidatu Sahiha bi Mawafiq al Sharia the right Aqidah is based upon the Sharia this book was written by Abu Bakr Mahmoud Gumi from Nigeria there were some brothers that were with us these brothers before I embraced Islam they were teaching Salafiyya in America one of them Muhammad Thani another brother Muhammad Khamis they were teaching and they used to give us these books one of them this one from Abu Bakr Mahmoud Gumi from Nigeria they were calling and ascribing to Salafiyya in the 60s in the United States of America Nigerians for Mr. Omar Ali who says it was mainly a Gulf state thing in conclusion brothers inshallah we say to you to keep this legacy alive we have to do what our elders tell us to do we have to keep our eyes on that thing that's going to benefit us don't be swayed and dismayed by the people who want to shoot the arrows of Shubuhat at us and make us go to the right and to the left as our brother Abu Muhammad al-Maghribi said if you're on that highway and there's a 40,000 foot ditch over here and on the left you're going to stay in the middle course don't be dismayed brothers and don't be disheartened by people who as we say again no one can take someone off of the minhaj they take themselves off don't be disappointed and don't be swayed by the people who lose heart continue to make that dua ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala dinik for as sure as sure as we used to study this book we used to study this book in the late 70s this is my personal copy Taysir al-Kareem al-Rahman fi Tafsir al-Kalam al-Mannan by Sheikh Abdul Rahman ibn Nasser al-Sa'di his Tafsir this was in the 70s we were studying from this Tafsir the 70s not the 90s ask Allah to keep your hearts firm on Salafiyya brothers ask Allah to keep your hearts firm on the Sunnah the pure Sunnah ask Allah to keep your hearts firm 
on this religion and the obedience of Allah. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam.